Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second lead code weekly code is three seven one. It's a medium, it's a medium learn problem. But uh, yeah, I don't know why the accuracy is so low. You can see the accuracy is pretty low. Uh, so yeah, mostly an implementation based problem. Maybe uh, most of the people are failing with some edge cases. So yeah, we'll 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 look what those edge cases could be, right? Uh, let's see what the problem statement is asking us to do. So the problem statement says that you are given a two D zero indexed array of strings, comma x times with size n okay now for each i for each i obviously valid i access time i of 0 represents the name of an employee and access time i 1 represent the access time of that employee all entries in access time are within the same day okay the access time is represented as four digit uh, using a 24 hour time format for example 0 at double zero that is basically 8 am and 20 2250 okay that's 10 30 and so on right now, an employee is said to be high access if he has accessed the system three or more times within a one hour period. Okay, this is the main condition we have to check. Times with exactly one hour of difference are not considered part of the same one hour period. For example, 8.15 and 9.15 are not, not part of the same one hour period. Okay, access time at the start and end of the day are not counted within the same one hour period. This is also a very important condition because of which I think most of the uh, you know, uh, solutions are failing. This is one condition and this is the second condition. You have to just take care of these two conditions. For example, this is 5, right? This is 5 and this is 2350. These are not part of the same one hour period. Return a list that contains the name of high access employee with any order you want, right? And who are high access employees? Who have accessed three or more times within a one hour period. And what is a one hour period? Just excluding these two things. Simple, right? let's check it let's check it so this is a person a who accessed at 549 person b accessed at 457 person a accessed at 532 person a accessed at 621 person b accessed at 540 okay now these are the list of the times when you know each person accessed the uh, what do you call it a system right now these are out of order like these are not sorted so it will be tough for me to check that in one hour window how many times the person accessed it let's sort it 532 549 621 right now let's see how actually you have to you know check the conditions right so this actually is 0532 meaning 532 am this is 0549. This is 0621. Actually, these are times, right? But you can consider them to be numbers, right? It will make the problem very easy. Now, just see here. You have sorted it. Now, you have to just pick up a window of three, right? Because I have to check that. Do we have three consecutive uh, time slots which lie within one hour period? So, sorting helps in, uh, you know, doing the sliding window technique. Now comes the question how to check it, right? So, just see. If you are at 532, Okay, one hour period will be just before 632 or I can say till 631. That means when I add 99, when I add 99, this will be a one hour period. Now, why adding 99? 1, 2, 3, 4. The, these slots are for hours. These are for minutes, right? You can have 10 possibilities here, 10 possibilities here, right? You can have digits from 0 to 9. You can have digits from 0 to 9. I'm just showing you uh, some details, right? So that means 1, 2, and this is 100 possibilities. Now, the moment you cross these 100 possibilities, you come back. Like, for example, 532, the moment you cross these 100 possibilities, you come at 632. And we just have to avoid this. So that is why instead of adding 100, we add 99. Because 532 is inclusive of that, right? In short, you just have to add 99. So what I mean to say, these are three time slots. Now, Pick three consecutive elements and just check that are they lying within a window of 99 or not? How do I check it? This element. This element. These are three, these are, th uh, you know, three elements, right? Let's see whether they are lying in a one hour window or not. So this is 532. Ideally, if the third element is less than which value? 532 plus 99, that is 631. If this element is less than 631, right? Then what happens? It means that within one hour, this person accessed the system three times. Simple. Okay. 
that is what we have to do so in this case you can see it's less so ax is the system uh, what do you call it uh, three or more times within a one hour slot and for this one you just have two x's so obviously this is not a high x strain right similarly you can solve for this one right similarly you can solve for this one all you need to do is keep a track of what are the excess time of each employer sort it and just check for the window checking is the main thing right so let me just show you it's more of an implementation based problem let me just show you very easy this is the main function you have right now i'm, I'm not discussing any intuition because to be very honest i don't know what intuition to discuss the only thing to discuss is what is the exact condition to check right so mostly just do what the problem is asking you to do right basically testing your data structure knowledge right this is the answer array this is the hash map why we have taken a hash map because for every employee i need to keep a list of excess times that's the reason right so i start uh, basically accessing the list so this is the employee this is the time if your map contains that employee sorry if it does not contain the employee add a list now for that employee whatever is the time convert it into integer why i have converted that into integer because there is you know there is nothing related to string here actually this is mostly to confuse you because if you try to do operations in string that will be cumbersome right how to add how to add 99 and then check the values right so that's why just simply convert that into integer uh, for example 0549 this is 549 make it 549 simple right map dot get dot add. so basically this is just bookkeeping it is like for a these are the excess time for b these are the excess time and all right now just traverse for each employee so pick up an employee just see what are the times sort it right? sorting is very important and then call the function that we have written we'll see what that function do but if this function returns to that means this employee is an high access employee you simply need to add that employee in your answer and finally return the answer right so the crux of the solution is just this function is high access all right now let's see what it does these are the times in sorted format that you have just see how many elements you have now one two three dot 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 suppose these are the access time what i'm doing i'm starting from here we'll do a sliding window technique so this is index zero one two three four five six and so on so high access when you access three or more times within a one hour slot right so that means just check these two then check these two then check these two and so on right so i'm standing at two i'm and i'm considering the time at zero and two so current time is ith previous previous time why i have written previous previous because two ka previous is one and one ka previous is zero so that's why just for readability previous previous is this right now whatever is the time before that means suppose at index number zero plus 99 if that is greater than equals to current time that means these two lie in the same window remember i took the example of okay i've erased it 532 plus 99 631 if this is greater than equals to a given time for example 600 that means this and this time lie within a one hour slot okay so that's why simply return true no need to check any other window right no need to check any other window and simply add it to your answer and you are done right so mostly checking your data structure knowledge how do you store the elements one um, probably one small observation here could be that you do not need to deal with strings right though they have given you strings but you can simply convert the, these string into integer because it is it is 24 hour format mm -hmm. now let's make the question a little bit tough suppose they would have said that look I'll not give you time in 24 hour format rather I would give you the time in 12 hour format then the question would have been a little bit typical just because of the uh, input format so in that case a better option would have been you convert that time into 24 hour format you convert that time so now once you convert those time into 24 hour format it becomes the same question and the same solution would have worked right so this is how you solve this problem right I hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case you have any queries related to the solution or you have any other solution in your mind do share it in the comment section i'll go through each one of them thank you take care bye bye